Happy almost Valentine's Day! Today I have a hand soap unboxing from Bath & Body Works. I made a little online purchase when the hand soaps were $3.95 a piece. For those who are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. I was a former employee of Bath & Body Works for about five years, but I also like to make seasonally relevant cozy content as well as I have a decluttering series going on right now. So if those types of videos are something that you're interested in watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And without further ado, let's check out these new hand soaps I just bought. Most of them are Valentine's Valentine's Day themed. They are also very good fragrances for springtime if you're not into florals. I'm not super into florals, so I tend to go more fruity and desserty for spring. This is how we open boxes at Bath & Body Works. Shazam! I don't remember how many hand soaps I got, so we'll find out together. Just look at that color scheme. Doesn't that scream Valentine's Day? It's so cute. All right, let's get started. Looks like I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Part of it is some of these are for my mom upstairs and then the rest are for me downstairs and of course Jose. Some of these I got in duplicates of two so that we don't have to fight over the scents. That's always a good day when we don't have to argue about who gets what. So the first one I got is Pink Petal Tea Cake. That's so cute. I love this new packaging. They have released this one in the past before. It's not brand spanking new. It also sometimes comes in a candle fragrance. The notes are Pink Rose Petals, Pound Cake, and Vanilla Glaze. I am not a floral person, but I love this one because to me it smells like mochi ice cream. The vanilla really comes out, so it's very sweet with just a little hint of floral. It's enough to make me think Valentine's Day, so I love that. Yes, I got two of those. Also a part of that same collection of packaging, I got two coconut, what are they? Coconut cream pie. Toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Let's give it a smell. This one is brand new as of this year, and I've never smelled this one before. Mmm. It smells very similar to vanilla coconut, like this one here, except it's a little bit sweeter, so... I wonder... Yeah, it's a little more of a desserty version of uh, vanilla coconut, so that's very yummy smelling. I love the scent of coconut. Usually I do coconut more in the summer, like a tropical, but you can tell that this isn't like a tropical type of coconut smell. It's more decadent. All right, I love this next one. This one reminds me more of Easter, but also cute for Valentine's Day, the purple packaging. Same of that other collection, Lavender Marshmallow. The notes are lavender, vanilla, marshmallow, and warm amber. Mmm. This one is similar to the Lavender Vanilla Aromatherapy, except it's definitely the marshmallow comes through as being that more smoky sweet smell as opposed to like a powdery. Like Lavender Vanilla is more like a baby powder smell. This one almost smells like that, but then comes in that rich amber toasted marshmallow kind of fiery smell. So that's very good. I got two of those. The last one I got from that collection is Strawberry Pound Cake. The first time I ever saw this fragrance strawberry pound cake was Mother's Day, I believe of 2018. It was uh, debuted as a candle fragrance in the home fragrance. And then last spring, they made it into a body care for the first time and it seemed to do really well in sales. So now we have it in a hand soap. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Mm, it is very sweet. A lot of these are really sweet because that's just what I like, but this one would be actually a good one for kids if you are trying to get your kids to use hand soaps more. It's a very playful scent. It's not like sophisticated fancy fragrance. It's more like a kid-friendly fun fragrance. So that one is really yummy. Two of those. And that's the last one of that particular packaging. This one, this is super cute. I'm not going to put it out this year just because it's a little late. I would normally put this out immediately after my Christmas decorations go down. Um, but it says BU on it and it is sweet sugar sprinkles. The notes are sugared strawberry, whipped vanilla, and sprinkles. Now this sounds very similar to the cotton candy skies they had last summer. Hmm, yeah. To me, it smells like, what's it called? Cocktails and confetti, I think it's called. The kind of greenish one that I had in my Valentine's Day video or even um, the Cotton Candy Skies. It's kind of like a combination of that, except I find it's a little bit softer. So very cute packaging. I'll put that out next Valentine's Day. Sweet Apple. This one's brand new, at least in terms of calling it Sweet Apple. Of course, they've had Country Apple, Farm Stand Apple, Fresh Apple, Heirloom Apple. They've had all sorts of different apples. My guess is it's probably just the same type of deal, but 
Farm Fresh Apple, Crisp Pear, and Orchard Skies. Oh yeah, to me this smells like fall because it smells just like the farm stand apple or like the heirloom apple that they always get in the autumn, but mm, that's a really good smell. I think that'd really be cute if you have like an apple theme in your kitchen. That smells super good. I love the scent of apple. Although it screams fall to me, like I said. All right, we have this cute sparkling mandarin in rain. This one's brand new as of this year. Aromatic mandarin, white freesia, and soft raindrops. <laughs> love the smell of raindrops. Hmm, that's really good. What does that smell like? I don't know what that smells like, but I've smelled something similar to it before. It almost, I wanted to say at first it smelled like the mandarin and bergamot, the aromatherapy um, fragrance from a while back that was happiness. It's the editing Melissa here and I finally figured out what this fragrance smells like. I was thinking it smelled like the mandarin bergamot happiness aromatherapy, but then it occurred to me, it actually smells like the island edition energy aromatherapy because it has the mandarin in it and it also has plumera so kind of that mandarin plus a tropical floral so it actually smells identical to this fragrance if you've ever smelt it okay back to the video okay only one more left this one is white raspberries this one is new as of this year as well love the packaging super cute for valentine's day raspberries citrus bouquet and water lily mmm Okay, so this one is surprisingly heavy on the water lily, that floral. Also, when you say citrus bouquet, it kind of makes me think there's some type of like citrusy floral undertone to it. Kind of has, kind of has like some sweet pea slash beautiful day vibes going on if you're familiar with either of those fragrances. But yeah, that smells really good. Oh, honeysuckle. It kind of smells like honeysuckle. Um, but with a fruity twist on it. So that's nice. I like it because it's fruity. If it were all honeysuckle, that might be a little overpowering on the floral department for me. But if you like a floral fruity combo, this one would be an excellent one for that. All right, and there you have it. That's all the hand soaps I got today. I kept it small for me because I'm trying to be good about purchasing. If you've been following me on my channel for a while, you'll know that I've been decluttering my entire house. And so uh, buying 50 bajillion hand soaps is probably not the best way to declutter. So I tried to keep it small and a normal amount that my family can use within a season. So there's that. I hope you enjoyed seeing those new fragrances. And if you did, don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.